You cannot take a European built boat with a European AC system and convert it to a US boat. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert videos. We're Nigel and Jan and we're answering your questions. So today's question is this. I'm bringing a Swedish 42 foot sailboat back from the UK to the US and need to look into converting the electrical system to US power. I do not know the AC cable size for the onboard AC circuits. There are only a few 240 volt electrical devices, basically the battery charger and the hot water heater. There is no air conditioning on the boat, but this is a consideration for the future. Can you advise on the best option to convert US shore power since I will be sailing mainly in the 220 volt AC areas? So, Nigel. Um, actually, it's 120 volt AC area. What did I say? 220. Oh, 120. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, and this is, this is really important because uh, in the US, the, the standard voltage coming from an outlet in the wall is 120 volts, in Europe, it's 240 volts. So, for a given amount of power for any device, you've got twice the amps in, in the US. And so we've got, a, a, in this case, the water heater and the battery charger, both of which are wired for 240 volts. Especially the water heater probably pulling a lot of amps. Yes, but even so, uh, 240 volts, the, the wiring on the boat is gonna be relatively small gauge. And then when you go to the US and you start to put 120 volt appliances on the boat, particularly air conditioning, uh, there's going to be far more amps flowing through the circuit and the wiring is going to have to be much heavier. Generally speaking, you cannot take a European built boat with a European AC system and convert it to a US boat, a US voltage, without rewiring the AC system on the yeah. boat because the conductors are undersized. Yeah. The bottom line here is if you're buying a European built boat and you intend to take it to the US, um, you need to make sure that it was wired for US voltage and not for European voltage. I mean, some builders apparently do this. Oh yeah, because it doesn't, it, yeah. when, when you build a boat, it doesn't cost much more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, talk, we're talking about a, a relatively modest upsizing in the conductor sizes and the amount of copper in the yeah. boat. But retrofitting this is actually, it's yeah, you might have to rip your, your cabin tree apart depending on how well, the Well, the shore power cord's going to be undersized. The, the feed from the shore power inlet to the panel is going to be undersized. The, uh, all of the branch circuits are going to be undersized. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, on, you're talking about some significant rewiring. Whereas, on the other hand, if you bring a US boat to Europe... No problem, because now the wiring's oversized. Yeah, yeah. so it's actually yeah. <laughs> the you better can, option. <laughs> yeah, you can just go in and swap out all of the American outlets for European yeah. outlets. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about AC systems and wire sizing, well, check out boathowto.com. We do have some free resources, but we also have uh, some really in-depth courses on these topics. Um, yeah, and we hope to see you soon here at YouTube. Stay tuned.